Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Wa rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Harf chair? Masha'Allah. Harf chair? Ism majroor. Inshallah. We'll remember. So, brothers and sisters, we are doing lesson number 19. Adasu ta'asiya ashara. Now, in this lesson, Dr. Sahib, Dr. Abdurrahim, will introduce to us the numbers for the first time. But they will come in groups. In this lesson, we are only learning up to ten. Okay. And then in book two, in the beginning, we will learn from eleven to nineteen. And then at the end of book two, we have lesson number twenty-four, I believe, in which all the numbers are given. But because numbers uh, are something that one has to use it all the time to get familiar with it, you know. So if you do not get it right away, don't worry. Just don't worry. It will come to you slowly, slowly. You know, <coughs> we are here from different countries. This is very funny. We are here from different countries. We speak so many languages. Even I can speak uh, Gujarati, Kachi, and Urdu little, you know, and English, of course, we all went to school. So, sometimes I can speak to someone in Gujarati. And especially people from South Africa, they can speak both Gujarati and Kachi. And even from East Africa, they can speak those two languages because they went from India, from these provinces, to settle in uh, <coughs> Africa. So I have this brother, a very wonderful brother. He speaks to me in Gujarati. But when I count in Gujarati, he said, don't count. Because I don't understand numbers in Gujarati. So he speaks Gujarati, but when it comes to numbers, he's totally lost. So then, you know, uh, I, I then start counting in English. So I was, you know, thinking about this. I said, he can speak the language. But you cannot count in the language. That's very strange, you know. But I guess it's a practice. If we don't have enough practice, sometimes we don't uh, understand the counting. So here also, brothers and sisters, we are learning the counting. Inshallah, you will understand. But if you sometimes are slow in understanding this concept, it shouldn't worry you. By reading more often, whole thing will, inshallah, come to you. And if you happen to go to Middle East, brothers and sisters, and if you hear it around you, you'll pick it up very fast, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I have divided the numbers in these groups, you know, for us to understand. Group number one is one and two. I have put them in a separate group because the numbers behave differently in one and two. Then, three to ten, this is another group. Hmm? And then, eleven to nineteen, which we will study in book two, in the early part of book two. And then from twenty to ninety-nine, that's another group. And then from hundred and up, that is a separate group. So there are minor changes taking place uh, when we start counting from 3 to 10, from 11 to 19, from 20 to 99, there are some changes taking place from 100 and up. And we will note them, we will observe them, inshallah. What about 1 and 2? But that these two numbers are always adjectives. They are not. Huh? Always not. That is why I wrote them in red. Kalamun Wahidun. One pen. 
So here, Kalamun is Manaut, and Wahidun is Tanat. The same way, Kalamani is Nani. Two pens. But remember, brothers and sisters, is Nani that Hamza is Hamzatul Wasal. Huh? We have to remember that. So you will say Kalama Nisnani. Kalama Nisnani. But for emphasis, sometimes we say Kalamani. Then you pause and you say it's Nani. So it's okay, brothers and sisters. Sometimes you will only say Kalamani. And that gives you the idea of two. But in order to emphasize more, then we say it's Nani. But if you did not use this nani, still the kalamani conveys the idea that it is two. Okay, brother. And then we come to number three to ten. This is the main part of our study. Uh, because here the numbers undergo major change, brother and sister. In English also you'll say three pens, four books, five chairs. You are using plural. Remember? Three pens. Four books. Still, the books and pens and chairs and students, we are using them as a plural. Same thing comes here. Okay? But if you see the construction of the sentence, if you see it, okay, we observe that this Construction looks very familiar. Huh? This construction looks like it is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. And that is correct. The construction is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Because I can see kasra, which means mudaf ilahi is majroor. And it is majroor. Mudaf ilahi is always majroor. And it is majroor. And we have here sarasatu. Are you with me? Salasatu, there is no al, there is no tanmin, because mudaf does not have al and tanmin. Okay? And then we have single dhamma. Now this single dhamma can be single fata and it can be single kasra, depending on the use of the noun in the sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, salasatu kutubin. What do you say? Salasatu Kutubin. Literally, if I translate, three of books. See, I am using of just to emphasize mudaf mudaf ilahi. Then I say four of pens. Four of pens. Mudaf mudaf ilahi. And I say five of students. But we don't use of. We say three books, four pens, Five students. But the construction is of mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Sahi. Now, what would you call this? The mudaf is called al-adadu. Because it is the number. Huh? Okay. And then what is the mudaf ilahi? It's a noun. Huh? And what is this called? Ma'adud. Are you with me? Ma'adud. It is called? Madud, Madud is called Madud. Huh? Means things counted. Huh? Okay? And even if you say three books, three is the number, and books is the noun which is being counted. Three books is the thing which is being counted. Huh? If I say Four pens, the pens is what we are counting. You know, thing which is being counted. Okay. So we will remember this part. Adad and Madud. Right? Adad is number. Madud is the thing counted. Right? Because this will help us later on in understanding a little bit deeper, inshallah. So this is it, brother. Okay, from 3 to 10, it is in the construction of mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. 